Hi everybody and welcome to another Unity freebie video. In this video I have created a simple shop system which you can download and use for free for both commercial and personal project. The download link is in the description below. So let's jump straight into it and see what we have over here. So in the middle we have our little guy, that's the player character. We have some uh, controls on him, a character controller, and we have an inventory. Now in this inventory we have some money which is set to 32 and we have two items, an armor and a scroll of strength. Over here we have four different shopkeepers, two of them you cannot see in the game view, but there are four of them over here. We have a finite shopkeeper, now this dude, you can sell items to him, he has a finite amount of money and he has a finite amount of items, so he can run out of inventory and he can also run out of money at the same time. We have an infinite shopkeeper, now this dude, I'm gonna turn this off so you cannot sell any items to him, you can only buy. He has a infinite amount of money and he has an infinite amount of items. We're gonna demonstrate that really quickly. And the last two guys that are really interesting. Uh, you can modify them however you want and they have a global shared inventory. So these two dudes, they reference the same inventory, which is under the global inventory game object. So whatever you sell to this guy, you can buy back from this guy. And whatever you sell to this guy, you can again buy back from this guy. And of course, whatever these two are offering, well, the both of them are offering the same thing. That's not that's what I'm trying to say. Now let's demonstrate how, how this works. I'm gonna click maximize on play. And now we're gonna go. I'm gonna go to this dude right here. A little pop up is gonna go here. Oh, look, I can trade. So I click on him. And we have our simple UI. As you can see, we have our armor and scroll of strength, as you saw in our inventory. And this dude has some inventory on his own. So this dude's name is YouTube Shop Plus, because that's the most corporate name I could have thought of. And he has a hundred gold coins and some items. So let's say we buy a couple of items. Let's say we want to buy some swords and two scrolls of strength. As you can see, this dude earned 14 coins, but he doesn't have those items in his inventory anymore. So if we close and we just back off and come back, you can see he really doesn't have them. So let's just give him back some of these. Oh, did I forget to turn on sell too? Okay, so I forgot to turn on the fact that I can sell items to him. But we can sell items to these two guys down here. So this, if we click on this dude, you can see he has a key. And if I sell an item to him, now he has a key and a scroll of strength. So if I close and go to this guy over here. Oh look, he has the exact same inventory. So let's, let's sell a couple of more items to him. And we don't need the armor. We're just going to go with the dual sword so we can be a little more, more agile. So if we go back to this dude. You can see that he has all of the items that we sold to him. So these two share the same inventory and it's a really, really simple uh, thing to implement and it's really easy to use and it's really clean and intuitive. I'm really proud of it. And the last guy is the dude with the infinite amount of items, but we cannot sell items to. As you can see, we cannot sell items to him as well as we cannot sell items to that guy, but we can buy as many of these as we can afford. As you can see, we have a bunch of them and he still has inventory so now we're stuck with a bunch of scrolls of strength but we can go to these dudes here because they have an infinite amount of money and we can just dump it all over here so that's amazing okay uh, i'm gonna go to the code now uh, then I'm, there i'm gonna explain the most basic things that are the core of the system i'm not gonna go through everything because a lot of it is self-explanatory a lot of the scripts are just there to have help organize stuff like you know um, serialize inventories and you know keep everything clean and you know the usual stuff so let's go to the code in our code we have the shop system script which is the center point of our shop we also have the inventory script we have an item scriptable object we have the tooltip that pops up we have the shopkeeper uh, script which you know toggles the shop opening with the uh, shop system dot open shop method and then finally we have our shop system script. Now in the script I'm going to just go through the open shop method really quickly and I'm going to go to explain the both the buy and sell to shop methods. Now in our open shop that uh, method, this is the method that obviously opens the shop when once the trade is started. This method is called from the shopkeeper right over here as the shopkeeper has a reference to our shop system. And once that happens, we set the shop to open to true. We set our current shopkeeper to be the shopkeeper that we have provided in our method call. Uh, we set the shop name to the name of the keeper. 
and then we update the money UI. What update money UI does is it simply sets the text labels in our user interface to be uh, up, up to date with the current amount of money both us and the NPC have. We clear the listings, so if there are any listings in our user interface from prior uh, trades, we just clear those because we don't want to list those as we have a new set of listings. We load the player items from the player's inventory, we load the shop items from the shopkeeper's inventory, and then we are done and set the shop UI to be active. Now let's say we buy something from the shop. So we have a buy from shop method, which is called from the shop listing or the item listing, I'm sorry. So the item listing is uh, an element in the scroll view that you just saw, and it has a button. And once the button is clicked, depending on the listing mode, you either sell the item or buy the item. So let's say we have our listing mode set to buy. And once we click the button, we go to the buy from shop method, which is then given the item we wish to buy. So the first thing we do is we check if we have enough money to buy the item, because if we don't, that's, there's no point in continuing and we just return. In case we do have enough money, we deduct the price from the, of the price of the item from our money, and then we check the following statement. So if our shopkeeper has finite items, we have to remove the item from the shopkeeper and then give it to us. We do this by removing the item from the inventory and removing it from the list. Another thing is we have to check if it has finite money. So if the shopkeeper doesn't have infinite money, we need to increase the amount of money the shopkeeper has by the amount of the price of the item. After that is done, we just add the item to the player inventory. We add the item to the list of the left side list, which is the list of the player items, and we update the money UI. The sell to shop method uh, works almost exactly the same, but just in reverse. Uh, but a key thing it has differently is it checks these two conditions at the beginning. So if we can, if we cannot sell to the shop, we simply return. And if the shopkeeper has a finite amount of money, and if the shopkeeper doesn't have enough money to buy the item from us, we simply return. After that, everything exactly the same. We increase the player's inventory uh, money value by the amount of the uh, price of the item. We remove the item from the player inventory, remove it from the list of the player inventory, and then we do the exactly same thing. If the shopkeeper has finite items, we add the item to the shopkeeper's inventory. And if the shopkeeper has a finite amount of money, we add, we deduct the money from the shopkeeper's inventory. And then in the end, we update the UI. So that's it. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave, the, leave them in the comments below, as well as any criticisms you have. Everything is much appreciated. A like and subscribe would also be appreciated. And I will see you everybody in the next video. Goodbye.